Welcome to my YouTube channel, I also plan to join. Today I'm going to show you guys on how to edit and redesign your cutting wall in Akikad as you can see mine, okay? That's one of the fastest ways for you guys to go about that, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna, this, this is just gonna be long, this is gonna be a quick video on how to re-edit your cutting wall in a, in a much more faster way, okay? I made a video on uh, how to do a cutting wall some times ago. Well, this is just a, like an update to it, which I feel like is going to help a lot of you guys when you guys are working in Akikad. Okay, so without any further, let's just get right into the business. And um, if you guys notice, if you guys can see, this cotton wall is actually being slant. Okay, the cotton wall is actually slant like this, and this 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 one also follows. Okay, so one of the fastest way for you guys to go about this is uh, let me just create another cotton wall. I'm going to go to the ground floor now. Okay. And uh, I'm going to click on the cutting wall here. That is under design here. I want you to click on the cutting wall tool. Okay, once you click on it, I want you to just click, drag, then you know, click. Okay, so I have this. Uh, if I go to my 3D view, I should be seeing it. Okay, so this is it right here. So please note if you guys don't know how to edit your cutting wall design to look something like this, I will suggest you guys check the previous video I did. Okay. I really explained a lot of things there so you guys should check that out or you guys can check this my settings dialog if I click on the cutting wall now and I click on the settings dialog you can decide to use some settings that this is a shame you can decide to use some of the settings that I did here okay the frames you can also decide to use all of this okay the panels you can decide to use glass you can select any of this and change them to be glass okay so you can start to use this for the settings so if you go to your ground floor plan where is your this is the east elevation okay i'm going to double click on the east elevation here so i can have a clear view of what i'm actually seeing here okay so as you can see this is the cutting wall design okay and uh just just for so you guys don't get confused i'm going to move the cutting wall to the side here okay Okay, so now this is the cutting wall. Okay, now I want to form, want to make the cutting wall have this particular shape design. Okay, so what you just have to do the, the simplest thing you just have to do is click on the cutting wall, click on edit. Once you click on edit, I want you to come to the shame grid here, and I want you to open it. Okay, once you open it, you're gonna notice that there is a uh, a dark rectangle all around the cutting wall. So what I want you to do next is click this. Okay. Once you click it, click it again, I'm going to be seeing something like insert new node here, okay? So the next thing I want you to do is, okay, I want to insert a new node down here, okay? So I'm going to press escape, click here again, and insert a new node for, let me say, somewhere around here. Okay, so I've inserted a new node here. So I want to click on this edge here also, and I'm going to be selecting this move node, okay? And I'm going to select this edge here. So once I select that edge, automatically, my cutting wall forms to look something like this shape here okay so uh if you want to make any other design here click this and uh let's let's try to click this side to insert a new node here click this and make sure i select a move node click this side and you're gonna be having something like a v i you know something that looks like a v shape for your cutting wall and this is one of the easiest and one of the fastest way for you guys to go about that if you go to your 3d view you're gonna be having something like this okay all right so thanks for watching and uh this video has been available to you kindly like comment and subscribe i'm going to see you in my next tutorial video thank you